so I got a call from my good friend Barry Anderson, and uh, he needed some help rendering some things out out of After Effects. And I told him, like, well, I'll make up something for you, so you'll uh, know how to do things, uh, various types of renders, some that key and some that do not. So uh, this is from my tutorial about um, parenting in After Effects, and this is obviously a full frame animation, uh, meaning it fills the raster. Uh, there's nothing that has to be transparent, and it will never have to be keyed over anything. It's going to be a solid piece of media. That's one type of thing that we generate from After Effects. The other type of thing that we generate from After Effects are things that need to be keyed. So here's a little lower third example with a little a typical kind of thing, a bar, and write on some letters, and then dissolve on some rest of it, the rest of it. So this obviously has transparency as delineated by the checkered box or the you know the fact that this bar is transparent now one thing to m mind about this is that this little check boxy here the toggle transparency grid this could confuse you okay so if I was looking at like at this like this I might think oh this is just something over um, a black background because it is set to the transparency box thing I don't even know why I guess it makes sense that you would have this, but I always fly with this thing off, so I know if something is supposed to be transparent. So the point then is, how do I render things differently? And the real key to rendering things differently is understanding this menu, the templates menu, the render settings and the output modules. Now, I know some very accomplished After Effects people that never deal with this, and what they do is they say, I wanna take this thing, and I want to um, make a movie, Okay, and then it takes it into the render queue, and then they go through, they click here, and they set everything the way they want, and then they click here, and they set everything the way they want, and then they tell it where they want to put it and what they want to call it, which probably should be the name of your composition. That's a whole other discussion. And then they hit the render button over here. Um, that's a waste of time. Um, and I understand why people do it, because things are different, but... All in all, things are not that different. So what I want to show you is the importance of these template things. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the render settings template. Now the render settings template, basically what you have is you have your defaults and then you have your settings. Now it says right here that my movie default is best settings. Uh, that sounds good, but what does that really mean? So if I hit the, if I call up best settings here and hit edit I will see let me pull this over I will see all of the potential things that could be changed now most of these um, I will say that I only change one thing in here in the best settings and this is a workflow issue and this is called length of comp by default it's set to work area I always render everything length of comp and the reason I do that is that I want things to be repeatable. Problems come up, things change, people will have to re-render something. One of the things that a lot of people do in After Effects is they'll say, well, I really only need to fix this thing. So they'll mark, it, they'll mark an in point by hitting beginning and they'll mark an out point and they'll hit end and then they'll just render through here. And then somehow they take that into their you know their edit project and wiggle it in but the problem with doing that is it's not repeatable because if somebody just goes like that and they render it again it won't be exactly the same you're better off rendering the entire project but the the work thing the work area thing beginning and end is also very useful if you just want to preview one section of something so yeah, that's, a, that's the area I'm working on, but when it comes to rendering this, I wanna render the entire length of the comp. So I don't wanna accidentally only render a part of it. So how do we get that away from the default? I'm gonna take one of these out of here. Basically what you would do is you'll, um, you wanna go into the templates, render settings, best settings, you wanna edit it, and it will, like I said, it will default to here. I change it to there. I click OK, and then I click OK. And that setting is now changed. Now, the important part of this, so here's that same setting, back into the Edit, Template, Render Settings. The important part is, what is your default? Because your default is the thing that will, duh, 
come up by default. So I always want it to come up to best settings and I and I personally want the best settings to be the length of comp. There are good arguments against that, but I don't buy into them. Now the 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 probably the more important setting is the output module. Now I can click on output module and change all these things. But you're better off doing it once and doing it up here in the output module settings here. Now, what I do here is you can have multiple presets. Now, some of these are default and some of these are ones that I have made. For example, I made ProRes Plus Audio and ProRes No Audio. I also made Lossless with Alpha. I think I did. Or, or at least I modified that. I can't remember now. So those are the three that I use all the time. Now, if I'm working on a project where I'm rendering out, you know, over, not overlays that key, but, you know, full screen things that don't have audio, what I will do is I'll come up here, I'll change this to ProRes No Audio, click OK, and at that point, when I send something into the render queue, uh, let me do that right here, it will come in as ProRes No Audio, which is very cool. But let's say I'm doing a project that has a ton of lower thirds, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here, and I'm going to go to my lower third. I'm going to go templates, output module. I will change my default to lossless with alpha. I'll click OK. And at this point, I'll take my lower third, send that to the render queue, and look what it's done. Now, why is that important? Because the thing you do the most, you want to do the most efficient. So if I'm doing 50 lower thirds, I'm going to take the time to go in and change my default edit templates output module default to be lossless with alpha. The alternative, however, let's say I'm doing 50 lower thirds and one full screen thing, and let's say this is my full screen thing. If I send this to the render queue, I now will go into here and say, well, what I really want is a ProRes thing, and because it doesn't have any audio, I will change that one to there one of my presets but my, but not my default now in in re, in regards to the actual presets i want to show you one important setting that um i'll be honest with you i don't understand why the other alternative is is there but i i'm sure there's a good reason for it i just i just don't know i'm going to go to edit templates output module and then i am going to go to uh, my lossless with alpha and I'm gonna hit edit here's the most important one um, what I want when it comes to lossless with alpha is I want RGB plus alpha which means that's the part of the image that um, decides what is transparent I want it to be an animation codec which I would change in here and I also want it to be straight unmatted now some people do pre multiplied and I just got to say, I don't know why. If I do straight on matted, it will actually look the same way it does. Let me cancel out of some of these things. As it does when it's keyed over here. When it does pre-multiplied, it will take your background color and blend that in to the things that are transparent. So say, for example, if I go um, turn on this guy and then go into composite mode, uh, composite, no, yeah, composition settings, background color, and maybe pick a, an ugly color, my black, when it keys, will actually be slightly yellow. I've seen this happen in projects when, you know, for whatever reason, somebody made a bright, crazy color so they could check transparency for other things but then they forget to change it. So you can do that, but you're much better off doing edit, templates, output module, lossless with alpha, edit, leave it on straight. If I do straight, regardless of what color my background color is, it will still look like this, black with um, no hint of what the background color is. So that's my kind of walk through the, uh, the templates and the defaults and uh, how to set up things for rendering. Later.